hey guys welcome to my youtube channel today we're going to learn how to make this beautiful and stylish cow neck top if this is what you're interested in keep watching like share and subscribe thank you so to get started i started with my back draft so this was me drafting my back bodies if you don't know how to do this just scroll on our videos you see a tutorial of how to do the basic upper bodies so this was me just putting my shoulder measurement and then my armhole measurement and then my neck measurement because this is the back the neck depth is just one inch then the width is three inches and i'll connect my shoulder slant to my neck point then i mark my apex my waist measurement and the length of the top so this is me just ruling out the lines on my apex line i'm going to take my bust measurement divided by four because i don't want this top to be very fitted i'm going to add one inch for ease so i put my bust measurement divided by four plus one inch ease I'm doing the same thing at the waist. My waist measurement plus the, my waist measurement divided by four plus one inch is, and the same thing to my hip line. Then I'll connect the lines. So I'll go ahead and impute my armhole measurement, and then connect to the shoulder line. So this is it for the back pattern. I'll go ahead and cut out this from cut out this pattern and place it on our fabric and cut our back. So because there is no zip at the back of this top, we're not going to add zip allowance. We're just going to place the fabric on fold and cut. So I'm just adding my sewing allowance, one inch sewing allowance around the sides and half inch for the armhole, half inch also for the shoulder line and one inch for the hem of the dress to fold the hem of the dress of the top. half inch for the shoulder to join the shoulder the front and the back shoulder together and then half inch for the neckline so this is my back so we're going to unpin this from the fabric and use it to cut our front So for the front, we're just going to create lines around the neckline and the armhole. Just create lines, extra lines that we're going to slash. We're going to slash these lines open to get our cow effect on the stop. So just, I just drew random lines and then I'll cut cut i'm not going to cut out everything entirely so that i'll be able to spread this so this is it i'm going to spread it like this on my fabric the more i spread the more fabric it will consume So 
so I'll fold my fabric the fabric will also be on fold the front will also be on fold so I'll bring my pattern and place it on my fabric I'll move it the, the part that is not slashed I'm going to move it to the edge of the fabric while I spread the remaining ones I'll go ahead and pin it down when I'm satisfied with how much I want to spread this So this is it. I'll go ahead and pin this down before I cut out. So this is me pinning it down. Pin it down. So I'll go ahead and add one inch to the sides of my top for sewing allowance. And then half inch at the armhole half inch for the shoulder and then I will just draw a straight line to the center front I'll draw a straight line to the center front just like this so this is how your center front is going to look this is what your pattern should look like add it down the hem of the dress of the top I'm going to add one inch for folding allowance Now go ahead and cut this out. So now we have our front and our back pattern cut out. I'm just going to notch the shoulder so that I'll know where the shoulder will end and where the neckline is going to start from. So I'll just notch those parts. Excuse me, I'm just trimming out the excess fabric around its armhole. So I'll notch where the neckline is going to start from and where the shoulder will end. And that's me notching the armhole part too. So I'm going to unpin this. So I'm going to cut here. I'm cutting off facing for the back. The facing is going to be used to tone the neckline of the back. So I'm just cutting out something with really a small. The facing shouldn't be less than 4 inches in length so that it doesn't fly out from the at the back of the dress or whatever you're using, whatever you're making the facing for. So I'm just going to place this on it and then sew half inch all the way around then come back and show you what it looks like. So here I want to cut my sleeve it's going to be a long sleeve so I'm marking out the length of the sleeve and then my cap height that's my cap height if you want a tutorial on how to make a basic sleeve just comment on the comment section and I will go ahead and do a tutorial for you so this is just how I draft and cut my basic sleeve
it's not going to be penciled out or down so i'm just going to do it real quick that's it and i'm going to cut it out So that's it for my sleeve. We'll go back to the upper bodies. Okay, so that's it. So we'll go back to the upper bodies. So this is my upper bodies. I've gone ahead to fold the hair, the neckline of the front. This is the neckline of the front. That straight line will cut out. So that is it. And then I've turned my neckline for the back with a half inch. So I'm matching both of them together. Now at the neck point, the front is going to be more than the back. So I folded one inch inward, one inch inward before matching it up to the shoulder of the back. So after that, I went ahead to sew half inch all the way at the shoulder. And then I'm matching the armhole together. See, the armhole is equal. So I'll go ahead and sew my one inch seam allowance at the side before I fix my sleeve. So this is the collar. I actually lost the video of how I cut this collar. So if you also want a tutorial on how I cut this collar, just comment on the like on the comment section and I'll do a tutorial for you. So I just pin my collar around the neckline of the top, pin it all the way, and then I'm going to sew half inch all the way. At the points I pinned and then top stitch at the end so this is the hem of my sleeve I want to have an elastic in there so I'll just go ahead I've gone ahead to fold it the one inch inside and then I'll go ahead and pass this elastic and I'll go ahead and fix my sleeve so this is the outcome of our top this is what it looks like on my client see so beautiful if this video was helpful like share and subscribe thank you